chair of Open Space Preservation Commission, and we had our meeting this past Thursday, which was a week later than normal. Um, normally, we meet the first Thursday of the month, but that was just before Labor Day weekend, so we elected to move it back a month. And the first thing that we did was we had an executive session, and when that was done, we went into our uh, regular session, and the, the first thing is public forum, and I mentioned that Maury Gasser's wife had died. Um, Maury Gasser is the head of HALT and is a very, very, very key player in the uh, open space work in Hopkinton. And um, if anyone who watches this is so inclined, um, they can make a donation to the Cambridge <coughs> Community Education, the Friends of Cambridge Community Education, which is at 5 Western Ave in Cambridge. Anyway, carrying on. Um, the next thing was uh, on the agenda was a table for poly arts. And since poly arts was the next day and I was tired and I wasn't organized, I said, we'll put this off until next year. And I did penance at the hall table. Then um, we discussed our website and um, one of the things that we are going to be doing, if it hasn't happened already, is that our agendas and our minutes will be readily accessible through the Open Space website on the town website. And then we got to the Gold Whitehall Conservation Area where there are a number of issues. Um, the, the plan has been to get this, I'm gonna use the term mow, it's, it's kind of like a mowing on steroids twice a year. And um, I'm trying to be charitable, things got screwed up. And the party who was supposed to do it was unable to do it. And we had to find somebody else. And of course, finding somebody else takes time. And so we finally got done, it got done late. And amongst the casualties were the lilacs um, because the posts that said, don't mow here, were completely overgrown with bittersweet because it had grown so much by that point. Um, but other than that, um, I think it's in good shape. We had a discussion. We had a um, consultation with three specialists of Holliston. And we talked about their report. Um, they would be happy to do work for us, but the price seems um really unaffordable but they gave good direction as to what needed to be done um which in one case they suggested cabling at least one limb in a tree and i don't think we're going to do that but we have um a better sense of how to prune um one tree has some some broken limbs in it that we need to get cut out um but pretty simple stuff and then on the southwesterly corner, um, there is a flowering tree that is um, being hidden by pine trees that are moving into the area. And it was suggested that those pine trees be taken out. So I think that's the story there. Um, so we had the proposal from JB to mow the lawn, the, mow the area, which was at that point was already done and the proposal's been accepted and the invoice has been accepted so that JB will get paid for doing their work. Um, the other issue there with invasives is knotweed. We have a small knotweed infestation in the roughly northeasterly corner um, and we have plans underway to deal with that. Um, it was supposed to happen this afternoon, but weather and schedules got in the way. So hopefully, next Monday, um, we will get that taken care of. Knotweed is pervasive all over town. It is destructive. It's growing up on roadsides. It's coming out over the roads. Uh, as one who rides a bicycle, um, I find some of the corners that are now heavily um, on, like on Spring Street with, with knotweed, it doesn't provide a lot of room for the poor person on a bicycle uh, and it actually provides some hiding so that they're not as visible to traffic. Um, I would love to see a town plan to deal with this sort of thing, but thus far we don't have it. Um, on Cameron Woods, 
um, which is the, and this is with the access from Wisp Way. The current trail from Wisp Way goes up a pretty steep incline and then goes down the other side of the incline. So we have approved um, a new trail that will go alongside the slope. So the trail will be pretty flat and, and it won't be as aggressive a hill. And, and I don't know what the angle is, but it's steep. And we had a discussion uh, for a bridge in the town forest, uh, a bridge that isn't needed right now because everything is so dry. And then we voted to put in uh, CPC applications for two pieces of property that we have been uh, attempting to acquire now for uh, this past year. Um, and in both cases, um, we've had complications, not not of, of a result of the town, but the normal sort of legal complications that are involved when there's property that's that's in an estate and when there's property that's owned by multiple people. So we just want to have our place in line so that if these title things get cleared up, that, that we're in position to get CPC funding for that. And then we talked about our meetings. And I am really fortunate to have uh, people on the commission who are very good at picking up minor typos and things like that. Steve Lewandowski and Nancy Peters both um, flagged things of which I can confess I flagged one of them uh, <laughs> out of all that they did. And so that's the skinny and our next meeting is next month, the first um, Thursday of October. And who knows, maybe you'll come and join us. And that's all for now. Thank you.